Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, today's video we are going to do uh, part two, I guess, of my essential customizations. Now, in my last video we talked about customizations that don't really cost anything, but what I consider essential. Uh, these ones are ones that I consider essential as well. However, they are going to cost you some money. Now, first off, is you're going to need a place to put your pieces, okay? That one cardboard box that comes with the game just does not work, okay? It is it is a time waster, okay? Now, luckily, I have access to a wood shop. This is why you see a lot of the customizations I do, which is because I have access to it. However, um, General Hand Grenade is and Young Grasshopper have put out videos about where to get, you know, their plastic containers to use, and, and those are great, okay? Those those are really great. I, I just I just wanted to do wood, wood ones because I did my board in wood, and I wanted everything to match. Um, and like I said before, I don't have a, a bunker. I have to have everything needs to go somewhere. Everything needs to be put away. And so I just wanted everything. Just If I'm making a tray, or if I'm making my game table, I want everything to match. So, But the point is, this is the point. You need some place for your units, okay? Um, for me personally, I, I don't, I didn't need to have a place for my fighters, a place for my bombers, a, a place for my tanks, okay? I needed infantry, I needed ground units, we needed sea units, we needed tokens, we need air, air units. And, um, it, and it's, it's fine, I mean, you can, you know, you're not going to be, if you have the, the original box, you're going to be going through it, going through it, going through it, looking for one more tank, only to find out 90 seconds later, you don't have any more tanks, okay? This is this is all you really need for for me, for me. You know, um, I, I think it's great having all individualized, but um, that was too much. Again, I don't have a bunker. That that's too much room for me, okay? I, I have to I had to narrow some stuff down. You know, I mean, I, I don't have room for trays that are are this big, right? For each for each place, okay? I, I need small and efficient, okay? So for me, small and efficient is guys. Ground units, sea units, air units. So, but anyways, just get get something, okay? Get something. I mean, doing this every turn, right? It just, it takes up time. It takes up time. Next, let's bring it over here. Of course, you're going to run into my card deck, right? You knew this was coming. This, I believe, is very, very essential. And I'm not saying you know, just my card deck in general, but any card deck that is gonna have the national objectives, you really, really need those, right? And it's just not for you, it's for everybody. I mean, it, uh, unexperienced players need to know these things, right? Experienced players need to know these things. There are, are rules that come up. You know, you wanna prevent people getting out the rule book okay because the rule book takes up so much time because you don't know where to find anything right you don't it's so scattered about you'll be looking for there for five seven minutes trying to find something that you can find in 10 seconds right i mean all of the crazy rules are are in here right so i i recommend you get something okay get something you know it is like i said don't have to be my deck it doesn't have to be young grasshoppers deck you need something and every country should have that okay every country should have x or i say not every country every player should have access to the same data at any given time okay they, they shouldn't have to ask you hey can i see your card deck no that player should already have a deck that player should already know exactly what is going on right each player should exactly know the political situation of everybody else at all times right i mean just this is something i think i consider this very very important and it saves a lot of time saves a lot of confusion and you know it's it's great okay now next kamikaze dice I know you know you see me talk about these a couple times and you're like ah it's just kamikaze dice no i think these are very essential okay very essential now for for two reasons two reasons now, of course when i say essential i mean these are mainly geared for new players okay but we're are we, as the experienced players, where are we without bringing new players to our table, right? We got we to gotta bring them in. We got to bring them in. We got to bring them in. But we need, to, we need to bring them in and give them a good gaming experience, okay? If there's a lot of confusion going on, 
you know, they, they don't get it. You know, in these card decks has like amphibious assault. It talks about scrambling. It talks about, you know, bombing raids, okay? A new player may not remember, oh yeah, I can do a bombing raid, okay? As they're sitting there going through their deck, oh yeah, oh, what's a bombing raid? Well, they can read through it and now they can zip over there. I want to do a bombing raid. Oh, you're like, damn, cool, right? You know, you want to give new players every chance they can to enjoy the game, okay? They're not gonna enjoy the game if they're just buying units and they're just traveling around not doing any of the cool stuff, okay? The, the cool stuff is in the, is in the decks, right? So they need, they need to know that stuff. They need to have access to that stuff. Just because they blast through the rule book the five minutes be, you know, before the game starts for the first time, they're not gonna remember anything. And even if they do remember it, they're not gonna know how to do it. They're gonna have to get the rule book back out, right? We're trying to save time here. We're trying to make the game efficient not only for us as the experienced player it needs to be efficient for the non-experienced player right we want those non-experienced players to enjoy themselves we want them to, we want them to come back we want them knocking on our door saying hey dude uh, can we play that game again you're like yeah come on over right so back to the dice this is why there's two reasons one you never have to remember what you have to roll okay one two, you don't ha you don't have you don't even have to think about it okay just get some dice now these I made out of, out of walnut. You saw my tooling video. That is going extreme, okay? You can order blanks. Blanks are not very expensive. Just order blanks and get a Sharpie and, and draw and draw something on there, okay? Or just get just get different dice. Get just get six color, different, you know, six dice that are different color. Unfortunately, you just can't have to remember you've got to roll a one or a two, okay? If you do it this way, it's one less thing you have to remember. It's one less thing that they have to have to learn. Okay, it's not it's 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 non it's a non event, right? It's just like oh, I roll this, did I hit? Yeah, okay. Now it's kind of cool that there are six kamikaze zones, and Japan player gets six kamikazes. I recommend, as if you are a new player, or you are playing against a new player, you put one dice on every kamikaze zone okay you're like sorry what are you talking about i want to have dice all over my board look i understand when we get advanced we don't we don't do this anymore we don't do this we our dice just goes over there on, on the ledge where you see the convoy tokens okay they just go over there but for if you have a new japan player or a new ally player this is essential okay reason is you are the japan player playing against an advanced American player, okay? They come over, right? All their ships are just on the board, right? Well, chances are their ships are going to cover any of these any of these uh kamikaze uh marks on the board, right? They're going to they're going to cover it. Even and even if they didn't cover it, that new Japan player, A, maybe they didn't even realize there's a kamikaze thing because they don't have my deck. They don't have a kamikaze card and they're gonna they, they'll forget right now the rollings have been done they're like oh i, I could have kamikaze six. Oh well, yeah you could have right but you they don't remember because they don't see it okay there's six spaces there's six dice keep them marked for that japan player okay he's new you want to you want to have the best game possible you don't want to walk over the, the new player right you want you want to give that new player every chance possible to play the game efficiently and make it fun for them okay not telling them to come not the kamikaze is not only robbing you out of a, a fake win it's robbing them out of a, a better experience okay remember this all these customizations these cheap ones these expensive ones are to improve our gaming experience not just as I said not just us as experienced players but as the people we bring to our table okay we want everybody to enjoy this game to its potential okay can't enjoy this game to this potential if you don't know half the rules and it's taken 10 times as long okay so back to the dice now if you are an experienced japan player and you're playing against an unexperienced uh, ally player well you still need to do this for them okay because you don't want them walking into a booby trap okay you don't want them bringing all this navy over right and they're like, oh, I, I got you, man, because I have like, I have 10 ships and you only got seven. Well, now, you, now you're going to kamikaze six dice, okay? I mean, that really could tip the odds, you know, and that player, that new player 
that you're trying to teach this game, you're trying to have them a good time, you're just going to make them have a bad time over here because now they're going to get, they're going to be, you know, that, that wasn't, that's not fun, right? How is, how is that fun thinking that you're going to do something cool and you get shot down by a rule you didn't really know about, okay? That's not fun, okay? They need to, this is a nice visual for both sides. Now, like I said, you guys are both experienced players. Well, no, that's of course this isn't necessary. We just we just put them over here, right? Then if you forget, you you forget. That's 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 your bad. And then once these are used, once these are rolled, they just go back into the Japan player's box. Okay, they're done. You know, they're off the drop the table. They're done. So, anyways, that's why I believe that is essential. Whether you make some kamikaze dice, whether you get some sort of marker or token, it's just I recommend the dice. Just because it kills two birds with one stone. Not only is it visually, you see it, there's no guesswork on what you have to roll, okay? Yes, like I said, we experienced players know, oh, dude, you roll a one or a two. Yes, I know, but they might not know, okay? They might not know, right? The less, the less things you have to tell somebody, the better, right? You just, you, you got it, you got it. Okay, next, next one is, uh, Facilities and uh, pro neutral markers. Um, I don't mark uh, neutral territories. You know, if it's a strict neutral, I don't put tokens there or, or chips and a guy. You know, I only do allied and axis. Okay, and I have two different figures for those. And that's just so everybody who's playing the game can just look over that way. Oh, it's allied. It's axis. It's allied. It's axis. Okay. Now, again, of course, we all know, right? But remember, a lot of these are geared to new players, okay? It, they're, not only does it keep us sharp as experienced players, it keeps us sharp, right? It keeps new players, makes it easy for them, okay? Makes Remember, making things easier for everybody is a win-win, okay? Just because you're an experienced player doesn't mean having easy stuff on the board isn't cool, right? I mean, easier faster you know sparks our brains oh yeah i got that oh yeah i got that oh yeah i got that right so i recommend getting some some sort to mark the difference between pro axis and pro allied next is you need to get rid of all those cardboard uh facility markers okay doesn't matter what you use use monopoly ones use you know i, I don't know just you know, like risk, you know, uh, young, I got this idea from young grasshopper. He uses these out of the risk game. Okay. You know, these are from the original access and allies game. These, uh, I just made myself and casted here at, at the house. Okay. It's just have something. Okay. Have something. And another thing that's cool. So you, you can really, really see it. You know, I'm not a fan of having them printed on, on the board. Okay. I, you know, yes, it's less a setup and I do see the advantage of it. Um, it's just not for me. Okay, it's not for me. I like having my towers everywhere, okay? I like being able to just like, uh, you know, there's no way that's gonna get covered, okay? There's no way these are gonna are gonna get covered in game. You know, you're going, you're gonna always look across the board. You can always be like, oh, airbase, 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 you know? There's just no, there's no way you're gonna not realize there's an airbase there or a naval base there or a facility there, you know? There's just no way you're not gonna know and that not only does you know that save time it's just kind of it saves it, it gives you the best advantage on the game board okay you can look over there airbase airbase you, know, you can be standing over here right it doesn't matter how many pieces are on the board covering said airbase and naval base you can look over there i can go one two three five six i'm gonna hit that airbase i can go one you know you just they're great now of course like i said experienced players we kind of know where these are you know, I, I'm not as good as Young Grasshopper, okay, on setting up the board blind, but I can almost set up the board blind. I mean, I uh, it, I probably could, really, if I sat and really thought for a while, okay, this, this is this, this is this, this is this. But when I'm just blasting through, you know, to do it as quick as I can, you know, I, I always double check my work, you know. There's always, I always ask myself, oh, is this one guy or two guys? I, I kind of, I kind of forget, you know. But... So not as good as him, but I could I could pretty much memorize where most of them are. But that's you know that's just that's not all of us, right? That's not especially like I said, that's not new players. New players aren't gonna you know may not know there's airbase there. You know if you know if 
I don't know where this is. We'll say Guam, but I have a bunch of uh, a bunch of stuff in there. But I never took I never took Guam. What does that mean that the airbase still doesn't work? But you're not going to see it because it's all covered, right? So I mean, just I recommend getting anything, okay, anything. Now, units. I recommend getting more units. Um, I went a little crazy, um, getting getting more units of everything. A lot of tanks, a lot of mechs, a lot of artillery, a lot of planes, a lot of a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of. Really, it's not necessary. I just don't like running out of things. Um, but I do recommend the very minimum, the very minimum. British, Germany, United States, Russia. Okay, I recommend you get more infantry okay for those four in particular now luckily my 1990 game it, just, it had those same sculpts so i really i just i just I, I i drafted from that game okay but i really recommend a minimum a minimum of just five each get some okay another thing is germany did not come with very many any aircraft guns okay or at least my at least my set didn't and um yeah and they start off setup with six right i think it only came with eight so and if you are an anti-aircraft buff like i am i don't like three and three right i like one 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 everywhere okay so that doesn't work for me so i had to order more and so if you're anything like me and like anti-aircraft guns uh you're going you're gonna need more okay now i you said it's not necessary you go overboard like i did and buying all the different units if you see my painted videos i've been putting up I replace a lot of units, you know, that's, that's a, that's an unessential customization. Okay. I like it and it's great and I, I recommend it, but it's not a essential one. So it's not on this video, you know, that's not, that's not an essential cost you need to endure, but I believe this is okay. And this is probably the most expensive customization are these from historical board gaming, these roundels okay and look at that shine it's got like this weird like glass coating on it i don't know what it is but i know this is thick it's wood right it's a laser cut hardboard they're easy to pick up now you saw my cheap customizations where i dab the back okay but but the actual piece itself man it's it's beautiful piece it's, it has such vibrant color it's easy to grab and what also is nice about it if your randles that came with your game are anything like mine, you will remember these aren't centered, right? I don't know what happened on the punch, but some of them I barely have any yellow on the corner because it's all it's all that way, right? I miss it. I'll be missing a point on one of the stars, right? It's just it wasn't tooled very well on what I got with my game, which is what led me. To get these not because i i didn't know how thick they were i, I didn't i didn't know they what they were made of i just saw hey i need some new randles because mine they came with the game suck right there it's just like there nothing was center punched everything was off everything was off for like the whole sheet my ones from the 1999 game were punched perfectly but they were white on back well i didn't want them white on back at the time i wanted them all black on back until i decided well now i want them red on back but at the time i didn't want them white on back i wanted them black on back so anyways that's how that led to this but these are very expensive you're going to be easily spending 140 dollars to get the uh required randles you need for this game uh, like i said that you get like i think it's 10 for eight dollars maybe 10 for seven dollars but it's it's a lot it's a lot first off you know you gotta you gotta keep one for your turn sequence well you don't have to but it's not i recommend you put a turn sequence on the board right so now you're already down to, down to nine. I like to make these uh, these income trackers, okay? Right, you make these nice big income trackers. They're easy to pick up, you know? So that's, you're down another one. And then plus Germany and Japan use so many, right? They use so many many you saw just a minute ago when i was showing you the japan pieces you saw how full those roundels were i mean they get all used right so i mean it's just like it's almost 40 dollars in roundels just for japan and almost 40 dollars in roundels just for germany so it's it adds up quickly and i recommend you get them all at the same time because they 
are out of stock a lot okay you'll go they'll be out of stock you, you wouldn't want to order thinking you need 20 japan then you play the game well, i gotta order 10 more and now you can't right because it's out of stock okay this japan one is always out of stock so with the turn sequence i recommend what it is i just did a, a stack of three right and so that was kind of a costly investment because you know i had this you know throw away two right just to add a topper on it so it got kind of costly but that's just what i did i painted them all uh, on the sides to make sure uh you know so you can easily uh see the difference so you grab a couple more don't need to show you all of them but you can you know they're easy to see on the when they're on that track over there they're easy to see on the side view you know just in case you have to stack them you know if uh just happen to be on the on the same on the same one there that way when it's when it's stacked you can see oh well uh, I, both UKs are making the same right and then also I recommend you do a turn tracker okay there's no reason to have a different spot on the board there's no reason to take up another chunk right there's already a number there's already a number of thing that comes on the on the board whether you use something like this or you use the one that it came with okay there's, there's already something there so no, no sense to make a new spot for it just make a new just make another token and then keep it on the tracker right now i do recommend if you are going to use this board as your income tracker you do something to keep them from moving around right because this a lot of there's a lot of action there's a lot of movement on here okay and you don't want to have to stop the game for a second to think oh wait i'm supposed to collect but it moves so now i gotta now you gotta go around and try and figure out what you're supposed to have just get something to make it not move or you know, maybe you have a, a thing off off site, off off board, where you can you can keep those where they're not going to get bumped or or interfered with uh, pieces moving about. But so, like I said, that's not that's not essential, right? And, but it is a customization I, I I I recommend in addition. But these, like I said, they're not. It's not essential, but man, you really enjoy moving these around a lot easier. Okay, you're not going to be sitting there trying to pick them up or, or scoot them. Okay, there's it's easy, right? And it, that's what these customizations are about making the game easier faster right making it more efficient okay oops all right i think we're about to wrap up here we got a couple more left oh another thing you remember on my video for my uh, uh research and development okay I do recommend you do something like this, okay? I don't mean like get a board and notch it. I mean have a way to indicate on the game board who has what, okay? Japan has jet fighters and long range aircraft. America has radar and, and naval, okay? Or, or shipyards. There's, you need to have something on the board so not only you remember what you have, everyone else knows what you have, okay? You don't want people putting uh, things in range of your long air range aircraft okay they need to be everyone has to know oh japan's got japan can go one more space you got to make sure i put my stuff not in range okay it's, it's not just for you to know everybody needs to know everybody needs to remember everybody just you know needs to be accessible you don't want to be asking uh johnny what do you have again you america has what you know what i mean no it's just look this is what you have this is what you have you, uh, it doesn't matter where you put it that it needs to be accessible to everybody to see at any given time during the game. Okay, that's I think that's important. Um, just really quick, in case you missed the video where I uh, updated my money, that's kind of it's kind of shady over here. So let's go back over here. Uh, I did do the uh, the twenty. So if you do um, use my cash, you know a twenty is available now. Now, the last thing I would like to go over is just the dice, right? I know you saw, or hopefully you saw, the dice about um, tooling and, and making custom dice to, to roll, okay? Um, it, I think it's, it's a very, it, it saves time. I mean, we've, I've played this three times now with, with these dice. And of course, I don't expect you to go out and, and tool dice. No, I mean, I went a little crazy, but the the it doesn't change the fact that it's faster. Now you don't have to tool the dice. You can always just order blanks in red, in blue, in green, 
and you can just get a Sharpie and, and draw on them, right? I mean, you don't have to go to the extent I did to get the same result and save time, okay? I mean, this is almost non-usable. I mean, we I don't even think we used it. Uh, I can't I can't imagine us using it the last couple of games. It's, it's so easy, right? I mean, there's, there's so many dice. I mean, I have so many dice now, right? And of course, you still gotta keep some for bombing raids, but you know, if you're attacking with, with four guys, right, and then you have four tanks, and you have two tech, two techs go with it, because now I'm attacking at four, you know, look at how easy this is. Oh, I, I got two hits. Okay, we're done. Right? There's no, I don't need to roll the ones until, oh, the ones I got, I would have got nothing, right? And then, over here, we just, you know, look at how much time it saves. You know, I don't have to roll. Oh, I got, I got one. Okay, now I got to roll the, the fours, you know. Oh, I got two. You know, you don't you don't have to do that. You just roll them all the same time and then you're done. You don't even need that. It's great. So I recommend like I say you, I don't I don't recommend the, the tooling. I don't I don't recommend um, everything I did for mine. That's that's not essential. What essential is saving time and making it a better experience. Like I said, uh, people new players don't like this game because of how long it takes. So any amount of time you can shave off this game. Well, guess what? They're going to enjoy the game a lot better, and they're going to want to play it again. You know, it's 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 great when you have new people come over, and they love the game so much that they're bug they're bugging you the next weekend. Hey, dude, can we? Uh, what was that game called again? You know, Axis. What? Can we play it? You're like, yeah, dude, come on over. You know, it, it's great because they enjoyed the experience so much. And between my low cost customizations, these customizations, I really believe it 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 really. Not only is it a better a, a gaming experience for you, it's a gaming experience for them. Um, it's it's great. It's great. And one last thing, I almost forgot about these these dice trays here. Uh, if you do not have a place to roll your dice, right? Just wait, okay, before you go and buy a dice tray from you know Field Marshal Games or from Historical Board Games. Wait, because I have an idea that I want to try and make some, okay? And I like mine because it's, it's, it's uh, leather bound, right? It's got the nice paint. I, I want to do different color schemes. But the important thing is, the important thing is on mine, like I want to do a prototype tomorrow because I have, I be at the shop just doing miscellaneous stuff. But mine will not only have a place to roll a dice, uh, it's going to be something like this. So imagine my game tray or my rolling dice being like this, right? So it'll house its own dice. In addition to, we'll have one of these on here, but going this direction. So no matter where you bring this, you always have Abacus. You always have a place to store your dice. Even if you're just using these dice, it, you know, even if you just want, oops, even if you just want, use a normal dice, that's fine too. You, you just, you can just house the dice. That way, no matter where you're rolling, you know, if you want to, if you're going over there, you can just have this with you, right? And I think this will be very, very nice, uh, touch as to an essential customization right not just having a dice tray with no dice and none of this right that isn't you know that's not uh i don't know it, it could be better right it, how much better would it be if you had this and you carry along and the dice is already here and you have one of these on it right you can just take that over there and roll and ch -ch -ch, right so i just wait just wait. if you haven't bought any yet wait because i want to see what i can do for cost as how much it's going to cost me in uh in time to do this it's not really material because material doesn't really cost me anything it would just be time and how much time it would be to make a good pattern and cut out a whole bunch and see how much uh, i can get these for so anyways it means if you're interested in that uh if you don't mind just leaving a comment or if you think uh i don't want to waste my time if uh if it's not interested i just thought it'd be kind of a cool idea just to like i said i'm not here to make money or anything i'm just i'm trying to make the gaming experience easier for you for you um so and the same thing with these over here uh I'm not trying to make money on these, but I do have an aluminum mold being made for some that I created. Now these, I, I hand did and casted them, but I actually have ones um, that were 3D modeled and are um, will be injected molded. Okay, so they're going to be be great. They'll be just like little plastic pieces like this, except they're going to be my own de design, and uh, you know I'll make those available for you as as well. So, so before you spend a fortune on Shapeways, paying four or five dollars each, wait for that as well. Okay. Um, so I think I, I covered everything, man. Um, you know, a lot of stuff was the last 
video, so I don't want to recap on that. But remember, it's just it's not about just making the gaming experience faster for you, but it's making it faster for everybody. And and it's about bringing new people in, and and keeping those new people, right? You don't want to scare them off because the game took so long or it was a miserable time. You know, you the, having them know the rules, quick access to the rules, right? If they have a if they have a question, you can easily direct them and not take up time, you know, going to the rule book. Um, yeah, I mean, running out of units, just the it's all simple stuff, right? It's all simple stuff that everybody can but you know, those will make everybody have a better gaming experience. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I'll try and get some more videos up today. And uh, I think you guys take care.